there, it's Rose. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share what I created for the open collab hashtag Let's Do Die Cutting Monday. So this collab is hosted by Tree from Tree Craft On and Kathy from Kathy's Creative Crafts and more. So please be sure to check out their channels, follow the hashtag, and check out all of the fun collaborators that are jumping in and sharing their die cutting. So if you're like me, you love dies. I love getting new dies. And let me know if this has ever happened to you. You see a die set and you're like, oh, I just can't wait to get that. You order it or maybe it's on back order and you're waiting and it comes and you were so excited about ordering it, but you put it away and you don't use it. And I can't tell you how many times this has happened to me. I get a die set, I really wanted it, and then I get carried away with some other crafting and forget about that die. This year I have vowed to get out those dies and use them and at least um, make a batch of uh, die cuts with them so that I have them ready to go when I need them on a card. The other problem I have is that sometimes I get involved in a craft. I think, gee, this die would be perfect, but oh, I got to get it out and I got to start figuring out the paper. If you do it ahead of time and have those die cuts ready to go for projects, it makes your life so much easier. Um, it makes crafting so much more enjoyable because the cute die cuts that you picked up are ready to go for a project. So that was my thinking this week um, as I pulled out a die that I've had for a little while, not too terribly long, but um, I kind of got into this craze where I wanted to find this particular type of die, found a few, haven't used them yet until today. So let's get into it and I'll show you the die that I used and then what I cut out with it. So here's the die set that I used for today and it's these ice cream dies. So I went through a little craze where I'm like, you know, I I don't have any ice cream dies in my stash. I have no, I, I must have been craving ice cream at the time, but I picked up this die and another one, both from Amazon, that make these little die cut um, ice cream cones. So you have the two size cones and then two sizes of ice cream and then the little chocolate syrup drippings and then even a cherry for the top. I thought this was such a cute set. It was super affordable on Amazon. As I said, I bought this one and another ice cream die set. Why? Because I, I guess I was craving ice cream. That's the only explanation I have. But um, I, I thought these would be super cute to have on some Valentine projects that I'm working on. And then, you know, ice cream is great all year long, right? Okay, let's get into it and I'll show you how cute these cut out. So here are the adorable ice cream cones that I cut out. Now, the great thing about doing die cutting Monday, other than the fact that you get to use some of your dies that are kind of getting a little dusty there in your stash and break them out and use them so that you can make creating easier, is that making these dies is a great scrap buster. Um, if you're like me and you're trying to work through some scrap paper, um, little bits of a variety of solid colored cardstock in this case, um, this was perfect for that. So, um, for the cones, I used two different kinds of paper. One was a soft brown. The other is kind of like a metallic gold. But I took out my Distress inks. And um, in making these die cuts, I wanted them to have some um, a little bit of shading to them. I didn't want them to just look like flat uh, die cut cardstock. So I took out my Distress ink for the cones. I used Vintage Photo to shade the cones a little bit and make them a little bit more um, what I think is kind of realistic looking. Um, and I also used Vintage Photo on the brown 
for the chocolate ice cream and then for the chocolate um, drippings on the top of the cones. Um, and then for the pink ice cream, which I thought might be strawberry ice cream or raspberry ice cream, I used some spun sugar and picked raspberry. And then for the cherries, I used fired brick. And I just took my um, distress tool and just, you know, lightly shaded them. For the lemon ice cream or lemon custard, I used mustard seed. Um, and then I also use that on the orange, which might be, you know, creamsicle ice cream or um, orange sherbet. And then uh, on a few of them, I added some beads for what would be the um, sprinkles, which I love on my ice cream. I always get ice cream with sprinkles. And um, then a few little red and what would be like maybe some caramel chips. Um, I used some diamond dots and um, for some red sprinkles, I also used red diamond dots. So they these were so much fun to create. I love the two sizes. I love layering them up. I still have pretty inky hands, so you'll have to forgive me for that. But um, they're a good size. The largest one is a nice size, uh, what would be a cute embellishment on the front of a card or on a memory decks. That's what I was thinking about. And of course, when I die cut, I always make a good amount, a good batch full because I've got the dies out and um, I've got my paper out and I'm usually, you know, watching a great maybe an old Columbo, or um, I like to watch Dateline or 2020 and have that kind of on in the background while I'm doing some die cutting and just kind of zoning out and just enjoying the process. Um, and it was fun to put together these ice cream cones because it really reminded me of ice cream. I just think uh, they're adorable. So I hope you enjoy taking a look. Please be sure to follow the hashtag Let's do Die Cutting Monday. Thanks again to Tree and Kathy for hosting every week. I love the opportunity to jump in and um, share my die cuts. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to ring the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.